There will be times both Saturday and Sunday you guys can get outside and kind of enjoy, but I think uh, less than ideal with the chance for showers okay. and storms both days. And some towns will get hit harder than others. I think that similar to today, some of you will go, oh, it wasn't so bad. I didn't get a storm in my neighborhood. Meanwhile, there were some pretty big storms today in parts of eastern Connecticut. And I think that uh, again, some of you will get hit rather hard with the locally heavy rain and the chance for some gusty winds too. All right, so here's the scenario right now. The radar is quiet, but if you look off to the west, you'll see some showers and some storms, and this is going to be a front that just kind of hangs out and doesn't want to leave as we head through the weekend. So tonight is mainly dry. There could be a passing shower or maybe a rumble of thunder overnight at some point, but for the most part, I think we're mainly dry with overnight lows in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Kind of feel like I'm playing with fire trying to help time out when the showers come through, but here's how I'm feeling at this point. Heading through most of the morning, mainly dry with a mix of sun and clouds, humid, warm, temperatures climbing into the 80s. But as we head through the afternoon, that's when I think we could see some scattered showers and storms. Again, some towns may get one, Others may not get anything until Saturday night, but anything that does end up popping up runs the risk of being very heavy with rainfall and also running the risk of a strong thunderstorm too. Then heading into the evening and overnight, we may see showers and storms become a little bit more numerous. Heading into your Sunday, we'll start the day off with mostly cloudy skies. Still some breaks in the overcast possible, but overall I think more clouds with a chance for a scattered shower or thunderstorm as we head through the midday and the afternoon especially. So again, there will be times you can get outside, but both days outdoor plans are going to be a little bit iffy. High temperatures during the day tomorrow, climbing into the low to mid 80s for most of the state, but in areas that end up staying dry all day, especially southern Connecticut, we could see some towns climb into the upper for 80s tomorrow if you are making it a beach day and I think you could especially for areas that are east of New Haven that's where you're even more likely to stay dry throughout the day temperatures will climb into the low to mid 80s as we head through the afternoon the water temperature is 73 degrees now because I think we have more cloud cover on your Sunday we're looking at high temperatures that'll be in the middle to upper 70s Overall, again, not ideal heading into the weekend, but overall you're going to have to dodge a few raindrops at least both days. And because of rivers and streams already running high and the soil already being saturated, if you get stuck in one of those locally heavy downpours in your town, we do run the risk of seeing some flash flooding. So we'll keep you posted on that throughout the entire weekend. Heading into Monday, cloudy, maybe an isolated pop-up shower or storm as we head through the afternoon. Overall, you're looking at below average temperatures here as we head through next week as well and several chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms in the mix as well. So we are not talking about really reversing this weather pattern and to get Getting back into something that's you know more typical of what you'd expect this time of year. Your shoreline seven day high temperatures around 80 degrees on Sunday, mid 80s for Tuesday of next week, guys.